All right, guys, so today's topic, B series, D series, H series, F series, G series, any of those motors, you wanna go fuel tech? I get asked all the time, maybe three to four times a month, what do you need to make it happen? Today, we're gonna explain that to you. All right, guys, now let's talk about ECUs for the project. We have the FT450, FT550, FT600, and the 700, 700 plus is out already, but we're gonna stay on the lower budget. Basically, give you guys an idea. FT450 is not here, why? Because I would not suggest that for this type of swap for a fuel tank. Why? Yes, you can use it. A lot of people get away with it. They do it all the time, but you're gonna be short out of inputs and outputs, and uh, that happens all the time. Then you're stuck upgrading ECUs. Might as well just save up the money you have, save up a little more, wait for Black Friday or something like that, and get yourself an FT550. You know, if you want something with more channels, more data, a little bigger screen, FT600 is definitely the way to go. But most common use and what I sell the most for these swaps is FT550. Believe me, if you put an FT450, it will work, but you're gonna want a turbo the car, nitrous the car, put AC, you're gonna run out of inputs very fast. With this, you could get away with that. So that's my suggestion, definitely FT550 minimum for any of those motors, D series, B series, uh, H series, F series, any of those, this is my go-to. It's what I recommend and what I suggest you guys go with. All right, guys, next thing we're gonna talk about is a trigger kit. You're gonna need this no matter what for your motor. That's so the motor knows, the fuel tech knows where top dead center is at, and it gives you spark and injection. So the common, you have the T1 setup, which is basically your cam gear with magnetic pickups inside. And then you have the T1 bracket. This is a speed factory bracket for B series. Then you also have, this is a bracket that was on the air pump for the crank, for the crank trigger. Um, you could go with both, or you could go with just the T1. There's a lot of companies that make them, especially T1, and then you got De La Cruz Motorsports. He makes them for quite a few engines, so you know, definitely a good way to go with it. You always remember, when you do install this, you're gonna remove your timing, time the motor again, and install this. You're gonna need this no matter what. So you could go either with just the T1 setup, which would be the cam gear, change your cam gears, or you could go with the bottom and the both setup. Obviously, it's better if you have more. The more information the fuel tech knows, the better your motor's gonna run, obviously. So I suggest to get the whole kit, like I said, there's a bunch of companies out there. You got the La Cruz Motorsports, you got T1, and I'm pretty sure there's a few others, but those are the main ones that I would stick to. Next common question when doing this swap, hey Caesar, what do I do, a jumper harness or a full harness? If you went with the FT450 route, jumper harness sounds like a great idea. You keep it budget friendly. I suggest that, but like I said from the beginning of the video, me personally, I'll stay from 550 and up. So this, I'll just go away, get that out of the option. Full harness is what I suggest. Why? You got a new ECU, great technology, might as well take advantage of it. Why are we gonna use a 1995 harness with a distributor plug, or extra plugs that we're not gonna be using anymore? So might as well get a full new harness made to what you're running. Tell the person who's building your harness, hey, this is my setup, this is what I plan on doing with it. And after you're done doing that, having all that mapped out, make sure you tell them at the end of the conversation, hey, can you add a Deutsch connector where any input and extra inputs and outputs that I will not be using so I can have them on there. If you're using FT600, you have two of these plugs with a bunch of extras. If you're using FT550, you have one most likely, right? What does this help you? You don't have to make a harness again, it saves you time. So let's say you outgrow whatever you have. You wanna add more sensors, you have this right here. So with this plug, you'll be anybody local or you yourself, if you know how to do harness, a little bit of wiring, it's nothing crazy. You can add on any sensors you want on here. So any trigger, any sensor, back pressure, whatever the case is you wanna add and you want the fuel tech to do, you have this. So you could grow into ECU. More data, better for you and your tuner. They're gonna love it. So that's my point of view. It's what I suggest, highly suggest that. Get a full harness, there's a bunch of companies who make them. I think that's the best route, especially you're already using FT550. Might as well make it worth it. So basically that's the breakdown of the things you're gonna be needing, what you should do. Uh, again, it's my opinion. A lot of people do F3450. I'll stay away from that as you're gonna run out of inputs and outputs, 550 and up. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Give it a like, share, appreciate it. We suggest you just bye bye. And we go with a full harness. Why full harness? Remember, birds, bro. You guys wouldn't believe me. I have to make this video like ten times. You and you have a lot of space. Oh, so close.